Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for returning. Family, on today's menu we have pad jollof rice, which is suitable for every occasion. Easter is here, you can make it for the family. Christmas, you can make it for the family. Like, it's a very special recipe that you can even enjoy on any other day, on your birthdays or any ordinary day. Without further ado, family, let me take you through my simple recipe and I hope you like it because I really did enjoy myself. Now let's begin. In the pot, I'm adding my nicely clean chicken thigh and drums and then my juicy sweet Italian peppers and now I'm adding my chopped ginger, garlic and onions. Yeah, after that, I'll just add my chicken seasoning shrimp tablet and curry powder and um, salt to taste i'm also adding my basil rosemary and thyme all are fresh and now give it a stir to mix everything together nicely family go nowhere watch till the end and be inspired this recipe is one of a kind and it's very very beautiful for every occasion you will love it all right a few minutes later we are back and look at that the chicken has released her own juice and I love this. The aroma is so magical. Now let's give it a gentle stir and after that I'll add water so that we can make our chicken broth. And as always, I'm not going to be adding too much water because I want the broth to be concentrated so that the chicken will absorb the flavors of the aromatics and will taste great in the end. Now that the sweet Italian pepper has broken down, it's a good time for me to allow the chicken to absorb the heat from the pepper, okay? On this side, I'm cooking my eggs, which I'll add to the jollof rice later on, yeah? Because we'll be frying our chicken, guys, we've just parboiled them and now they are ready. The broth and chicken are all cooled down, so we're going to be starting our stew very soon. So into the oil, I've added coriander seed, anise seed, and star anise seed. Ooh, they've released their flavors in the house. Family, you need to be here. I'm adding my ginger garlic, as usual, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, onions, and now tomatoes. We stir until all the vegetables are translucent. Ooh, and they've released their flavors. Or they are a bit golden brown. This way your stew will be taken to the next level, yeah? And for your stew to always turn out, yeah? And who don't want that? So keep stirring. Keep stirring. And you can add as many vegetables as you want. So now I'm adding carrots and cucumber. Yeah? Beautiful. Usually I'll add cabbage, I'll add celery. Just keep on adding them as much as you want, yeah? So now the vegetables are broken down. And they have fried enough and are translucent. So now let's fry our chicken here yeah? as they are cooling down. I'm adding olive oil to my pot. Once it's heated, I will then go ahead and add my chicken. Fry until they are all golden brown and a bit crispy. Yeah. Yes, they smell so amazing. The seasonings have taken the chicken to the next level. So natural and magical i'm adding onions garlic rosemary to infuse their flavors into the oil mm. and now guys you need to be here as they are frying on the side we will be also blending our vegetables yeah the vegetables are nicely blended so we also go back and check on our chicken okay look at that beautiful and they are golden brown. I love this. So I'm going to take them out of the oil. And family, we will continue from there. Keep watching and go nowhere, okay? Stay to the end and be inspired. I love the color I've achieved. So golden. And this chicken is a must buy. Family, as you're watching the video and being inspired, please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video. Don't forget to recommend this channel to friends and families who may like my recipes, yeah? Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, yeah? So now it's time to clean our pot 
let's continue with our frying okay this way it will make all our fishes our chicken or eggs that we fry look nice and beautiful yeah so always don't forget to clean in between fries yeah it's very very important the oil is about 90 percent clean so we're going to go ahead and fry our eggs just like this because if you have seen my videos you know i love me my fried cooked eggs and they are now ready i'm taking them out to make our stew the oil is too much for my stew so i've scooped some out and now into the oil i've added my onions and they are frying nicely the oil is already infused with some beautiful flavors so you can just imagine i'm going to let them fry until golden brown i have added bay leaf and curry leaves for more flavor can't really go nowhere and be inspired i've added my tuna in brine you can as well use your cooked mackerel or cooked tuna and you'll be good to go keep frying until they release more of their flavor yeah so now i'm going ahead to add my tomato paste yeah just like so and this much is fine for my jollof rice yeah so again i'm going to be stirring to mix everything together until they are well combined just like so i'm going to let this simmer for about seven to ten minutes by that time if there's any soreness in the tomato paste it should be gone but luckily i'm using a very good brand of tomato paste so i do not have that problem but usually if this is done it helps a lot okay so it's about 10 minutes and i'm adding my blended vegetables Ooh, mix them together so they are well combined and the aroma is so magical finally Ooh, don't just watch the video but give this a try okay i've rinsed the blender and i've added the water to the Ooh, the stew and now it's losing up i've added my broth and ooh, my oh my adding the broth is a game changer and it's going to take the stew to the next level family so in about 40 minutes this stew should be ready but as time goes on i'll come back and check from time to time just like now i've come back to check it up and it's doing wonders the water is drying out gradually and it's going down can you see that yeah we are getting there very soon this too should be ready and guys we'll make our jollof rice keep watching and be inspired this jollof rice is so party pleasing crowd pleasing and this easter don't miss this recipe out let the family enjoy it okay yeah so we are still going to let the water dry out some more mm. yeah we are back again and you family the aroma Mm, it's everything the stew is almost ready so I'm, I'm scraping off the part that is stuck at the top there back into the stew okay because that part is mostly tasty and now i'm adding my final seasoning and it's for jollof yeah this seasoning is jollof rice seasonings and i love the brand so much you can use any other brand or season of your choice yeah and now i'm adding salt to taste Again, stir, stir, stir to mix everything together nicely until they are all well combined and the salt is evenly distributed, well dissolved, well incorporated. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes later, I'm slipping some of the stew on the side so that next time I'm making jollof rice, I save some time. Yeah. Family, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment on the video, and I'll appreciate it. Okay now i'm adding my well washed rice and family this is beautiful hope you have been inspired now i'm stirring to to fry together or to toast it together for about three minutes and then i'll add water to my desired level and i'm adding this much water not more because i want my rice to be single grain and non-stick yeah After leveling the rice up, I'm going to cover it with my splatter guard for the water to dry out. And now I'm back and the water is about 90% dried out. I'm going to be covering the rice with my kitchen foil. Okay, for it to trap more heat and cook my rice to perfection. 
again i'm going to be adding my napkin to trap more heat and then the cover of the pot and now let's lower the heat whilst it's cooking nicely let's do some stir fry on the side into the frying pan i've added butter and i want it to melt once it's melted i'm adding my prawns nicely washed stir 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 and keep adding your ingredients next i'm going to be adding my onions yeah you can use the white one and it's fine keep stirring next is my chicken sausage you can use any other sausage of your choice again keep stirring stir 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 next is my mixed vegetables in there i've got carrots sweet corn green peas green beans and i have added my white cabbage Again, you stir, 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 and now paprika powder for color and salt to taste. Yeah, you stir, stir, stir again to combine everything beautifully. Lastly, I'm adding some shrimp tablet for flavor, okay? And you can add any seasoning of your choice. Ooh, the aroma is so beautiful. Wow. I do not want them so fried and crispy, so this is fine. Yeah, so let's go back and check on our jollof rice. And the aroma is already everywhere in my house. I love that. And I love the way that the greens are non-stick. Ooh, and they are single. I'm adding my stir fry. Ooh, family, I hope you have been inspired. How do you see this? Let the family enjoy this party jollof rice this Easter season. Let them enjoy it on their birthdays or even any other day. This is so crowd pleasing, party pleasing. And finally, I'm adding my nutmeg. And I waited to add it at this point of my cooking because this way it feels so fresh and the aroma is so different. Just try it out and thank me later. I love the infusion of more of the natural seasonings and this makes the jollof rice very healthy and nutritious. Keep stirring to make sure that the nutmeg powder is well distributed, okay? Ooh, the aroma is so beautiful. Everything is so fresh and smells differently. This jollof rice is so heavily. It's at the next level. Eh, oh wow. Be dear to be you. She. The love fries, pa pa pa. Hehehehe. She. Obwa. Nti min ta ki wati. Munen be bubu. Family, I hope you have been inspired. And thanks for watching until this point. For more of my videos, please follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me as well on Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to build this amazing family together. Okay? And also follow your girl on TikTok for more updates. Thank you all for watching till this point. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, be good, enjoy. Kiss. Bye, y'all.